Welcome to Dragon 120. Elder Dragon Highlander died in 120 seconds or less. Thank you for visiting. If you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe. Hello everyone. Welcome to Dragon 120. For today's video, we'll be looking at Ragged Draga, Gorgut's boss. Ragged Draga is a 4-4 human boar creature for 2 generic, 1 red, and 1 green. It has, each creature you control with a mana ability gets plus 2 plus 2, and whenever a creature you control with a mana ability attacks, untap it. And finally, whenever you cast a spell, if at least 7 mana was spent to cast it, untap target creature. It gets plus 7 plus 7, and gains trample until end of turn. Ragged Draga's ability to boost a creature's power not only makes them more efficient in combat, but also provides a great way to generate massive amounts of mana in a single turn. With cards like Marwyn the Nurturer, Karen Blade Elite, and Viridian Joiner, getting a plus 7 power also means getting 7 extra mana. Creatures like Selvala, Heart of the Wilds and Cradle Clear Cutter also work similarly, with Selvala giving us some card advantage, and Clear Cutter giving us flexibility in casting. Once our mana creatures start producing 7 or more mana, we can start sinking them into some of our spells with buyback. Casting Worm Calling with X equals 7 or more, plus adding buyback will create a loop by allowing us to untap our mana creatures with Ragged Dragon after casting. If we are able to produce red however, with either Selvala or Harem Blade Elite, Fanning the Flames can even win us the game on the spot. With infinite mana and infinite power on our creatures, we can also add cards like Greater Good for card advantage, Aggravated Assault for combat, and Walking Ballista for creature-based combos. Lastly, try adding some haste enablers like Concord Crossroads to get rid of Summoning Sickness for our mana creatures, or Spine of Ishsa, to add more 7 mana spell consistency. Well, that's my take on Ragged Draga. The deck is really creature-heavy, but it should be okay as we have enough creature tutor and support in red and green. Elf Ball strategies should also be fun for this deck, but how about you? How would you build it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this episode, please like share and subscribe. From Dragon120, thank you for watching, and have a great day.